Hello guys, today we will be taking a more detailed look at this 1974 American Standard Canadian Compton here. If you guys remember correctly, um, I got this off the Camps Kijiji in August 2018 for absolutely free. Uh, the guy picked it up on off like... It out of an alley for me. They upgraded to a quote unquote econo flush. But yeah, they lost my game. So we'll start here. So you can see this gasket hole is pretty damn shallow. Like, shallower than any other of my given toilets. And this part is thin. Don't know why that is. I guess it's just part of the design. Got the bolt holes, and this helps level off the tank nicely. That's what I, that's a really cool thing. You can have your double nut, uh, double nutted bolt, and it won't affect anything. I don't know, I don't know why that's curved, because these tanks are pretty damn square. Here are, I like the rim on these, they're super slick, you could say. Now, Unlike the new day, this slants right down this Compton hole. You've got the kind of marked line trapway there. Well, for the water. As you can see, this one's kind of got hard water stains and the bowl's really scratched. It's from a rental place. Um, this wasn't on full water level, so I bet it clogged a lot. But yeah. Scratches don't bother me when there's water in the bowl. So you can see this um, whole trapway is really flat, and the siphon jet's flush with that. Like my BB one, it slants down. I'll have to do a more detailed look on that one day. But yeah, all pretty flush. Now you're not going to be able to see in here. But basically, the wall goes like, there's a... Trapway goes like right up. Now, it, this is not a crack, that's just a really nasty scratch. Um, I've heard you could get rid of scratches with bartender's friend or muriatic acid if someone would confirm those rumors, that would be great. So looking at the side view, yeah, looks like a Compton, of course. What I like about the, these trapways is this little indentation. I think that's really cool. Uh, it's a nice feature. Our faux bolt hole and our actual bolt hole right there. Excuse the dirtiness, I just pulled this out. I need to clean this thing. And then we got that really complex trapway thing here. Now if we look out back, it's a pretty large bowl. You'd think it'd be smaller. And I don't know what that serial number is for. Nor do I overly care. Maybe it's some plant it was made at. And then up the front, it looks just like that. You can see actually where they merged the two halves of this toilet together. That line. Looks cool enough though. So now what I'm going to do, because this surface is trustworthy, I'm just going to turn the Compton over on its side, just like so. Here are our kind of seat bolt right there, and bolt holes for the tank. Got the serial number. Five, is that five or six? Two, eight, nine, eighty. Then we got our manufacturing date. Oh no, that's, it's made in Canada. I'm on the wrong end. Well, it's made in Canada like any good Compton. Anyway, our manufacturing date is June 19th, 1974 for the bull. Then we've just got like, I guess, construction workers scribbling right here. We can see our faux bolt hole caps and our actual ones. I've had wax, I'm glad the wax ring from this is gone because when they're still stuck, it, they're just nasty. In here, it's not the clean, 
cleanest thing. This came from a rental place after all. I don't think it's glazed. Um, yeah, I don't want to put my phone up there. But yeah, you, you get a rough idea of where it all leads. So I'm gonna just pull this lovely thing right back up. Now we'll just move on to the tank. Here's our lovely serial numbers, 404976. Now that's weird. I, some of these have the like serial numbers. This one has this, and some don't have serial numbers at all from this kind of era. Tank was made July 5th, 1974. American Standard, Maine, Canada. There's our lovely water one. And yeah, notice this black actuator valve. Now uh, this would have had a black tilt here with a matching screw on disc, but that I, gu I guess like expired at some point. I found this and put it on because you know, it looks good. Now this here, I find really weird that it's sure, I can assure you that isn't a crack. See, it's like a manufacturer's kind of line. I don't know why they put it on. But yeah, that's the tank to bowl kind of area. And looking behind, yeah. All Comptons from this era have these. I don't know why, probably something wrong with the mold. And the final part are just our base set come 4049 tank lid. Works well, I guess. I mean, it's got a little chip out of it, and I don't know why. If I find a better lid, I'll take it. Um, it's from sometime in 1975 they made this. Yeah, just looking at the back, we've got that kind of little manufacturer's whole thing. Yeah, that is about all this uh, we need to know about this toilet, though. Hope you guys found this piece of some informational value. I will see you guys in the next video.